feel like all the editors and chiefs spoke to each other. They had a conference call about, right, for next month, let's put a black person on every cover. All right, so I thought I would do a video today on some of my favorite things at the current time. Now, they're all, as usual, laid out on my bed. Um, no particular order. It's all going to be kind of like all random, but it's just things that I really, really, I mean, I love, you got to love your clothes. You got to love your fashion. You got to love your style, but you got, you got to love your wardrobe, right? I mean, if not, it's doing you a disservice, I think. But I wanted to just do a quick snapshot of what I've really been really enjoying the most and just feeling like, oh my God, I'm so glad I've got that. You know, those pieces that you that makes you think that when you put that on, not everything does that. You're like, I'm gonna kick off with this skirt. This is that leopard print skirt that you've seen before um, from Realization Pa. I am so, uh, well, you already know how I feel about leopard print right so, so when i saw this one on the realization par website i had to get it um on my instagram tv series where did you get that when i stopped people on the street and asked them about their street style um there was a girl wearing it as well and i loved how she had it dressed down that is exactly how i love to wear this and i love wearing anything that's like sort of slinky like this teamed that way with like a heavier shoe so i found this uh because i was on their email notification for when they got restocked and then i got the email immediately and it restocked and i ordered it straight away so definitely do that if you're after um any of the items that are sold out currently just get yourself listed it's one of those pieces that i can't wait to wear when it gets cooler because it works perfectly now because it's nice and like thin but it's perfect to like transition into the fall as well and currently i'm in saint lucia so this is a pre-recorded video and i'm almost positive that i'm taking this with me because i can just see me wearing it which just anyway i'm not going to say how i'm going to wear it but i can see me wearing it over there so you can have a look on instagram just to see how i plan on teaming this but oh this is such a good one very happy so pleased i got it okay so what do i go after next um i'm going to show you these shoes now these are from i think the lock loq or i'm not sure how you pronounce it but it is these fantastic flat ish because they've got like a little block heel sandal and they're basically those barely there strappy sandals that imagine if that's your toes it's just a really nice sexy uh, subtle sandal and that heel as well let's just show you that so you can see it slightly goes in and they're nice and wide on the foot and this is the part i like the best actually is this a squared off toe i got these in a size 41 and they fit me fine just a fantastic simple strappy shoe always on the hunt for a good strappy shoe and this is definitely it for me i'm oh they look great on the foot they really do and it's one of the shoes that you know if i take photographs wearing it, i always get someone who pings me saying like where are those from i think that i can definitely see me wearing into next summer as well i live in saying barely their sandals so it's nice to have a slightly slightly more dressier version that still feels very casual at the same time heel and this color so nude it goes with everything <laughs> All right, so sticking with shoes, I know, I know you've seen me show this before, but I'm gonna pop it in again really quickly. It's these by Topshop. These are so, so good. Same idea, same idea where it's that barely there looking sandal. It's just got a one strap that goes across the toe and the block heel. I love this block heel. It slightly flares out at the bottom. I don't know if that's coming across on the screen. I love the type of leopard print as well. The pattern on it is really cool than what it is. And I mentioned that before in my full um, favorites are under a hundred dollars. I'll link that video below if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, and I loved it so much that I ordered it in the red croc, which is the one I originally wanted, but they didn't have my size. They restocked. It's now available. So I got it. Anyway, love these, love these, love these. Stupid comfortable, gets compliments you when you wear it. Right now, so popping into makeup, I'm going to name just two things for you. One is this NARS mascara. It's a new launch called Climax. That's the name of it, which is a very interesting name, but then that's typical for NARS, I think. Um, they sent it to me in the, I must be on the PR list, and I gave it a try, and I love it. It's great, it does exactly what it says on the tin, but it just makes your lashes makes my lashes really long and defined quickly. I put two coats on, you don't have to. One is actually enough, but just for that extra, if you want, it is just, it's great. It's great, it's really good. I know, like I said, this was gifted to me, but 
I would buy this mascara. I'm always on the lookout for a really good mascara. I think it's just one of those things that I will always be on the forever hunt for. Oh, okay. Second in the makeup category is by Marc Jacobs. It is their eyeliner. Now, I recommended this eyeliner to you before. The thing is, um, I mentioned to you this one, which is this blue one, and I just wear it like just going on the lash line. I'm not wearing it today. But this is actually the color that I love even more than this one. It's this. Can you see the difference? God, it's focusing on, just do that. There you go. This, this one. This is the one that I really love. It's got a metallic look to it. Look, see if I do that. Can you tell? There's like a metallic sheen to it. This one, at the bottom here, this one doesn't have a metallic sheen, but the top one does, and it looks so good on. It's like it's so vibrant. It's like electric blue. Amazing. It's so, so, anyway, I just wear that. If I just want like a flash of color on my eyelid, I'll put that on and it looks so really good. To and the last piece of makeup I've mentioned to you is a Glossier Cloud Paint in Dawn and in Dusk. Hold on, you think I would have got it for you already, but I obviously I have it. But it is these two. One is, uh, this is Dawn, which is like an orangey tangerine. And this is Dusk, which is more like, on my skin, it comes like a flush of pink, but a really realistic, not baby doll pink, more like a, I don't know. I can't explain. Just like a fresh from out of the door looking pink. I got Paula hooked on it as well and she also got it. Anyway, the point I'm making is these look really good as blushes, but the way I've really just got into wearing them is as a shadow. What I do is I put haze all over my lid just as a wash of color. I it out with the orange of the dawn just here it's like orange color and it looks so pretty together and oh my gosh i have to include this as a favorite hold on hold on it would not work if i did not put this on now tara tara mars her channel hey girl she recommended this to me and you're right it does work it is the urban decay eyeshadow primer po potion yeah eyeshadow primer po potion the original formula basically it is an eyeshadow primer it just locks the shadow onto your eyelid it is not budging you're right tara you are so right so i put this on first and then i put on the cloud paints but i would use it for any of my shadows but it has lasted like until i remove that cloud paint at the end of the day from my from my eyes it doesn't budge it doesn't crease it doesn't do anything and i'm going to attribute it to this urban decay eyeshadow prime potion really really good here it is, so you can see, if I can get it to focus. There you go, and I love it, It's it works. Absolutely works, so I had to include this as a favorite. Now this was kindly gifted to me, but I have to say that I have been reaching for this dress way more than you're seeing, because I don't, it's to the point where I don't even show you on my Instagram, because if not, it'll be like, oh, she's wearing that dress again. You know, so I just don't show you, I'll just show you other things on my Instagram, but there's a high probability I've got this dress on while I'm showing you other things. It's just, I think it's because I like ditzy tea dresses and I mentioned this to you a lot before. And that bell sleeve that it's got here with that cuff, it's just such a good, I just love it. That deep front here and it's slightly short, but it's actually got a slight puffed shoulder as well, puffed sleeves. That is just like a little, mm, that just adds something to it. And then moving on to a pair of jeans which I got from Zara and it is these wide leg it's from their I think it's join life which is their sustainable line and I got these jeans I'm showing you the back of them aren't I anyway so it's these denim jeans they're ultra wide leg and I love them they're so good I actually wanted the Ganny ones anyway those are all sold out but I found these wide leg ones and they are fantastic they're so good they have that long look they touch the ground oh i love them so much anyway so these i've been really really enjoying i can't but i really really i'm mean, loving these jeans and i think they're so great i think they're so worth it and you don't know how i love vintage designer bags so i'm going to throw in the dior saddle bag this is the navy with the gold hardware i found this on poshmark now poshmark i is one of those hidden gems because a lot of people just don't think to look on poshmark I already have an account with them and I sell things on there and I forget to go on Poshmark. Um, my girlfriend Dara has been on there for years and I think the only reason I even sort of remember it is because of her. Anyway, so I got this bag on there before the price hike was going into effect. So I got this for a really good deal 
and they authenticate for you um, designer items above a certain price point the Poshmark website does so you know it's like buy with peace of mind if you want so just really been enjoying wearing this bag I absolutely have it's just such a just it's just an easy 90s throwback carry bag and I do have two of them because some of you mentioned seeing in my video I had them hanging up there on the where on my wardrobe handle yes I do have two of them this one was kindly really kindly gifted to me from vintage armoire um, we did a collaboration together and it wasn't like a paid collaboration it was a gifted one where she so oh she agreed for me to have this this one the the, the brown one and I uh, listen I can't even speak that's how grateful I am. I can't even speak. Um, she's also sold to um, Fashion Filth. I love her channel. And to Mel Soldera. Loving what they found. Anyway, so she kindly gave this one to me. And I, I cannot say enough about the fact that she did that. But um, I love wearing it like this. Like with this kind of combination. Because it's a nude. I think this is like a nude colour one. So I've been wearing it with... It's very, very flexible to wear because it's like a nude in my eyes, even though it's brown, but it's got that tan in the gold. Right. With my other favorite item, which is this vintage dress from Love Day Queen. I've mentioned this website to you before. I'll link them below. They have an Instagram account, plus they have a store, and I got this from the store, and it's this gorgeous, she called it the English rose dress. A great fit, I love this to pieces. Um, and it's got little beads on it as well and um yeah so i really am in love with it and it's just such a cool easy thing to just throw on and i just love how it pairs with this color dual saddle vintage saddle bag so that's like a combination i really love and a lot of you said to me on instagram i think like oh that's so carrie from sex and the sea and it does even though this is not the dress it reminds me you know the scene where i think she got pushed she was at the boathouse in Central Park right in Manhattan right into the, she got pushed into the lake and she was wearing this amazing dress i thought this dress and especially when i wear it with a bag similar to this just i instantly think of that moment i think of the outfit that carrie had on so so these are my favorite like finds at the moment as far as like the vintage side of things is concerned another favorite of mine is this fantastic um initial necklace that i got from brooklyn charms in williamsburg brooklyn look at this it's just basically a very scrolly letter k it is so pretty. I love wearing it. I don't wear it like this. I always wear it by itself. It is such a beautiful that. I love it so much. And it's special. It's got sentimental value now because I got it when Paula, my best mate from London, when she was over here, we got one each. Well, I got her one. So she's got a scrolly P and I've got the scrolly K. So, but it's such a cute, beautiful piece. I, oh, I love this so much. Oh, so happy about that. Um, skincare and I have mentioned this before in a video and the fact that I'm bringing the same product to you and to your attention again is testament testimony is is proof of how much I just love it it is without further ado the Sunday Riley Luna oil now as I said once before, I am new to the whole like face oil thing. I've never, this is the first one I've used, so I can't even compare it to anything else. Um, it, apparently it works from the inside out. So whatever's in the pores, it kind of like clears all of that out. I remember, cause I don't know if I, I'm not allergic to, but when I eat crisps or Pringles, anything like that, I break out. I instantly get like a, I hate to be horrible. I get like a little white spot. Now I, was eating a whole like half a tube of Pringles the other day. Not in one day, but I just was like over that week. And I was like, oh, I know I'm gonna get a spot. I know I'm gonna get a spot. And no, lo and behold, it started to, re you know, appear on my skin. Every night I use Luna Oil. Not only did it stop it from like continuing to rise and form, right? It stopped it from like getting any further and it shrunk it and made it like I just dry up and just disappear. This stuff is it's genius. It's really, really good. I mean, granted, I do use other products by Sunday Riley, but I personally think that this is the one that's attributing the whole like getting like a clearer skin, better skin. I remember I mentioned the other video, didn't I? I had like a line here, like when I sleep, because I sleep mostly on my right hand side, I would have like this line here when I wake up. 
that line is gone. And I only use this at night. I don't put anything else on at night. I know, I know it's you. Anyway, so this is not cheap. I said this before and I'll say it again. It's, it's not. But it is really, really, it, it does the job. It does the job. That's all I can say. It's worth it. To me, this is worth it. Definitely try and get yourself a sample if you can, or just get the smallest size that it comes in if you can't get your hands on a sample. And then just try it. I wash my face at night. Um, every night now I try and make sure I do because I used to be really bad at that. And I also, and then when I've, once I've dried it with a towel, I just go in with this. I just, it's like a little veil, drop veil. It's blue, but it goes on clear when you like, kind of smooth it in. And that's it. That's all I sleep with at night is this, nothing else. And I'm telling you, this stuff is good. And for me, for my skin, which is so fussy, it's nice to have something that actually you can see working. And last but not least, you know what I've really been loving this past month as a favorite is just the sheer amount of, I'm just gonna keep it real, just the black faces on these top fashion magazines. It cannot have escaped your notice how you're seeing them on like, this is Beyonce on the cover of Vogue and then for US and then UK, we've got Rihanna. But, I mean, that's just this one, these two. There are a plethora of magazines where you're seeing like just all these black faces on the covers. Um, and you just wouldn't normally see, I wouldn't know, as a black woman, I wouldn't normally see that. And it really, not even as a black woman, this is a girl, as a child. When a child walks past um, a newsstand and just sees a sea of one color only on the cover of magazines without saying anything it says a lot and it really does i just hope that the fashion industry is not doing this as a tokenism and it's just like a checkbox that they're going to do for this month and be like okay so we did it let's move back to how we were before um you know the population around the world is getting increasingly diverse and you know, it, you're only doing yourself a disservice to, I'm talking to the fashion industry as a whole, to not reflect us. And you're only going to like, as in the plus size industry, you're just leaving money on the table because you're not speaking to everybody in the way that I think you should be. Anyway, it's just really nice to see that in the industry now and I hope it continues, right? Leave a comment below about the subject. What do you think? I don't care what color you are. Black, white, green, indigo, brown, doesn't matter. What are your thoughts on the industry as far as like representation and diversity? It's great to finally see it being done and in such an almost explosive way because it seems like, I feel like all the editors in chief spoke to each other. They had a conference call about, right, for next month, let's put a black person on every cover. You know what I mean? It almost feels like, at least to me, because it's just not what you normally see. Tell me what you think about it as a whole. What is your thoughts um, and your opinions? It would love to, I'd love to actually get a discussion going and, and to talk to you about that, like I said, regardless of what you look like. Anyway, I'm gonna end with this being my favorite thing that I've, I've seen. Um, but yeah, that is it. That is my lot. I'm going to end with these publications in my hand um, of my favorites for right now. Um, like I said before, I'm currently in St. Lucia with Michael. We're only there for a couple of weeks. Um, you can see what's going on on my Instagram stories. And that's it, we're just having a family visit. But uh, that's where you can catch me there first. Um, what else do I wanna say? Nothing else, just subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you for the next one. And the last piece of makeup I'll mention to you is the Glossier Cloud Plains. Cloud Plains. <laughs> so what I do is I put um, Dawn, no, Dusk Haze. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so a piece of skincare, a piece of skincare. Or L-O-Q, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And I gave it a try and I love it. It's great. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Well, it doesn't, well, it says Climax on the tin, so doesn't do that because I'm kind of fussy with the prints on patterns of leopard print I've already told you that wow I could have said that in a much more succinct way be close to the lash line and then pull out wiggle pull out wiggle 